In this video, we're going to cover how to deal with battery core charges, and you can kind of interpolate this into whatever it is that you're having to do uh, with respect to core charges. Now, right now, I'm actually looking at an item. This is actually a battery that we are going to sell, so I'm going to actually copy this part number. Now, what I've done is I've created a couple miscellaneous items. They're not really part numbers. They're things that I've created to help me sell batteries and, and to keep up with how many cores I actually have in stock to send back to the manufacturers and or the suppliers and also a charge that I'm going to charge, which is actually a non-inventory item. And I'm going to show you both of those things here in just a second. But I'm on the battery and the thing I wanted to show you here is in the also sell section I have gone in and added a battery core charge which is going to be my non inventory item and it's always going to be on the invoice so when I sell a battery I'm always going to add the battery core charge in addition to that if the customer gives me back their battery core then I'm going to sell a battery core as a negative and it'll offset the battery core charge so I'll always have the battery core charge and then I'll have a battery to offset it if if they bring in the core and the primary reason that I'm doing that is that then I can keep up with how many cores I actually have in stock for purposes of sending them back to the supplier so if you're not interested in doing that you don't have to do the latter part you can just either put a battery core charge on or not um, on the invoice when you're selling it so right now that's what i've done to the actual battery i've got the battery i've got the battery core charge and then the battery core that we're going to use to keep up with inventory so now let's go take a look at those two things and see what they look like so i'm going to come over first to the battery core let me get rid of my description that I had put in here so we're going to come over here so this is my battery core so this is the thing that I'm actually using it's an inventory item I've got a cost value in here that reflects the same thing as my battery core charge and then I'm basically using it to keep up with my refunded or returned battery cores um, so at this point we're going to go through this the take a look at the battery core charge and you'll notice that it is a non-inventory item so this is a this is the actual charge that i'm going to charge the customer whether they brought the thing in or not and then the question is whether or not they return their core and that'll go on there on the invoice as well so let's go sell a few of these things and see how this works so we're just going to come in here and find us a customer we're going to do a part sale, and I'm going to add first the battery. So we're just going to come in here and add the battery. So we'll select the, the battery that we want to sell. And so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add, but instead of doing add and close, I'm only going to do an add because I can see that I have some also sales over here that I want to add to this invoice as well. So we're going to go ahead and add the battery and now we want to select our battery core charge because i am going to charge this customer five dollars if they don't bring in their battery core so we're going to go ahead and add that and we're going to tell it to go ahead and add and again i'm not going to do an add and close because i also need to add the battery core so the question is we're just going to go ahead and hit the add so the question right now is in the case of the battery core, did they return it? And, and am I interested in keeping track of it? Um, if they did return it and I am interested, then I'm gonna go ahead and add the battery core because I'm saying that they are giving me a battery core. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the battery core, but this time I'm going to do a negative one instead of a positive because I'm they're actually giving it to me. I'm putting it into my inventory so that I can later return it to the vendor. Um, and again, if you don't, if you're not interested in tracking it all the way to this level, you don't have to do this. But so what this is going to do, and now I'm, I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to add and close. Um, what this is going to do, and those alerts that are coming up are because I happen to put the cost in the list at, at five, which really shouldn't have been there. Um, so at this particular point, I have the battery they're buying, the battery core charge, and then the battery core, which is what we're giving them back. So you can see the battery core offsets the battery core charge. Now, if they didn't give me the battery core right now, they're only going to be buying the one thing 
and they're not giving me a battery cord, then I'm going to only charge them for the battery cord charge and I won't put the core on here, which means they paid an extra $5. Now, in the event that they bring the battery in later, I'm just going to go in and bring in a negative battery core. I'm basically acting like I'm giving them a refund on this battery core. And so I give them their $5 back and now I bring another battery into the into inventory. So the system is keeping track of how many cores I have and how much I've charged for battery core charges because I'm selling these things. So um, that that's really all that you have to know. Now, in a, the last step, I'm going to go ahead and jump back over here to the battery core just to show you the, the final step here. And, and this has nothing to do with the final step of selling it. It's more what you're going to do when you return the thing. So at some point, I'm going to go to my battery cores, and I see that I have two of these, and we're going to actually click the green button to return to whoever it is that we return those things to. So the system is able to help keep up with how many of those cores I have in inventory, and then at some point sending them back and making sure I get the proper credits for them.